we are given the limits of f of x, g of x, and h of x as x approaches negative 8, and we have to evaluate the following limits. To determine these limits, we will be demonstrating the limit laws shown here on this screen. You may want to pause the video and review these. For part a, we have the limit of f of x minus 8 times g of x as x approaches negative 8. The limit of a difference is equal to the difference of limits and therefore this is equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches negative 8 minus the limit of 8 times g of x as x approaches negative 8. But we can also factor out the 8 and write it as 8 times the limit of g of x as x approaches negative 8. And we are given the limit of f of x as x approaches negative 8 is negative 7. So we have negative 7 and then minus 8 times the limit of g of x as x approaches negative 8, which is negative 8. Simplifying, we have negative 7 plus 64, which equals 57. For part b, we have the limit of the square root of h of x as x approaches negative 8. Well, the limit of the square root of h of x as x approaches negative 8 is equal to the square root of the limit of h of x as x approaches negative 8. And the limit of h of x as x approaches negative 8 is given as 16, giving us the square root of 16, which is equal to 4. Let's take a look at two more examples. Here we have the limit of the natural log of h of x as x approaches negative 8. This is equal to the natural log of the limit of h of x as x approaches negative 8. And again, we know the limit of h of x as x approaches negative 8 is 16, giving us natural log 16 as the exact value of the limit. And then for the last example, we have the limit of f of x divided by g of x as x approaches negative 8 plus 1. Well, the limit of a quotient is equal to a quotient of limits. This is equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches negative 8 divided by the limit of g of x as x approaches negative 8. And then we still have the plus 1. So simplifying, the limit of f of x as x approaches negative 8 is negative 7 divided by the limit of g of x as x approaches negative 8 is negative 8 plus 1. Simplifying, we have 7 eighths plus 1, or 1 over 1, obtaining a common denominator of 8. And simplifying, we have 15 eighths. I hope you found this helpful.